Hi, I'm going to be doing a video review on a ROM I use on my HD2. This is the best, most responsive ROM with the Sense Overlay that I have used on my HD2, and I've tried almost all of them. So I'd like to say that this is the best. Um, that is an opinion, but uh, for most people, I think they'll find this is by far the best ROM that you could run as of now. Um, this is ported from the Desire Z, and it comes with a version of Sense that has some built-in features like the uh, multitasking and notification bar, which is um, something I like to use. Some people may find it useful, some may not, but it's just one of those perks that are not available in all the builds. Um, also, these galleries are optimized for the 3D uh, layouts, which is great for kind of flipping through. Now, right now, I'm looking at the skins, which is something that's also kind of unique to these builds, where you can actually go in through the personalizations and not only change your wallpapers but your or your scenes, but your skins. So uh, now, this phone, this ROM comes with like four or five, and you can get you know, maybe another couple from the uh, HTC Hub by hitting this button down here. But I will include a link to a, a, an XDA thread uh, with somebody that's gone ahead and done some uh, optimizations on some of these skins that you see here because obviously I have more than that. Uh, I like to have them on here because some of them are real great and just depending on the way I feel when I get up I'll change those so that's really great to be able to just flip through it and do it that quickly. Um, once again, you can get a lot of that stuff, the content from uh, HTC. Their wallpaper content is definitely going to be a little more extensive at the uh, HTC Hub website. So that's, you know, a good thing because you get to go ahead and just access it all right from the phone. Real easy. HTC is real high quality. So, you know, you get all the... Uh, fanciness and the quality that they put into their work you know right from the phone to extend that even more personalize it even more so I'll show you how that works just go ahead and find what you want to do the fireworks download that and it'll go ahead and tell you when that's done downloading and uh, we'll go back and apply that skin I know you guys know how to do this but just showing you the way that this ROM functions in particular now Okay, now you see it there. This is in the HTC wallpapers now. That's populated there. So you can go ahead and preview that. Apply it. And then there you go. You have your uh, your new wallpaper done. And that's like I said, that's the way they have incorporated that new gallery and the new personalizations on these, uh, these ports. So that's something that I like a lot. And I think it's just a, a little customization, which is one of the main reasons I like Android. So... Um, now, like you can notice, the screens are really snappy, really responsive. This ROM is overclocked to 1.13 GHz, so it's a little bit faster than the stock speeds on some of these ROMs. Um, but I do get about 7 hours of medium to heavy use out of this ROM, so I'm not too worried about that personally, because, uh, like I said, I use it for web browsing, Wi-Fi, GPS, navigation, all that good stuff, and it gets me through most of my day uh, better than actually any other Android build that I've used with Sun so I'm happy um, and I think you will be too if you give this a shot so I'll go ahead and uh, do some uh, quadrant speeds uh, just to give you a glimpse at what is uh, what is capable with this ROM and uh, it's you know ranges probably from between 2100 to uh, I want to say about 27 was the top I think that I got, 2700, uh, several times. So it just really depends on what you have on your phone and, you know, what's running at the moment, all that good stuff, uh, how your phone feels. So it's it varies, but, you know, quadrant speeds aren't everything, but it's nice to see a good quadrant speed because, you know, it's, you know, definitely got a lot of things working right underneath the... Uh, interface so that's good mm -hmm. um, so you get to see once again how stable how fast responsive it is and also get to see the uh, calculations and the quadrant mm -hmm. numbers being really high so that's great um, like I said I haven't noticed anything wrong with this when I did install the ROM there was an application called Wi-Fi calling now this is supposed to be added to uh, go ahead and give you basically the uh, capabilities of using uh, that's actually 2038, so that's a little bit lower than I was expecting, but um, go ahead and run it a couple times because I always like to do that to get an average. 
but the Wi-Fi calling application was actually noticeably draining my battery. It would only last like three hours. And when I downloaded the system panel light application from the market, it was showing me that the uh, CPU usage was basically at like 75% for that one application. So it was really killing the uh, battery. So I used another application from the market called Titanium Backup to go ahead and remove that application. Now, if you are going to use Wi-Fi calling uh, occasionally, then I would suggest go ahead and just use Titanium Backup to freeze it because you can go in and freeze that application and it will um, keep it from running randomly. Now, if you look at the uh, quadrant speed I just got there, 2802. So, once again, a bit of variance, but that's actually the highest quadrant speed I've got on here, so that's a coincidence, I guess. Um, so it's just really, this ROM is so snappy, um, so fast, even though it is overclocked, it's a very small overclock, and it just really benefits you, the user, and uh, I couldn't be happier with it. So, it's, it's just been a really good ROM, and I'd like to save people all the headaches I've been through trying to find a perfect ROM. So, if you're looking for a sense build, this is... Uh, probably the best one that you're going to find as of now anyways there will I'm sure be improvements there since then so I know that there'll probably be a good number of you know improvements even upon this next build that he's already released so I will include links to his XDA thread um, and also links to the uh, thread about the uh, skins so you can go ahead and install your skins um, because they're you know, a lot more through the uh, thread than there are available through HTC Hub. And then there's also going to be basically um, a... I may include the thread for the APN settings. Basically the way this is going to work out is that it doesn't actually include APN settings. Now he did go ahead and provide an update which would auto provide APN settings. Um, I have found a thread that provided working APN settings for me to go ahead and do MMS or picture messages which is one of the things that um, has not been working very well on a lot of these builds and, and that's just great to see once again the uh, incorporation of the working APNs just makes it that much more functional. So I'll throw in the thread for that if I can find it easily and that way you guys can go ahead and also get your your uh, picture messages working. Now this does give you, right now I'm on Wi-Fi, but it does give you the uh, HSPA network so you're going to be running at speeds that are you know, between 3 and 8 megabits per second download, depending on the time of day, you know, 8 being the off hours, of course, and 3 being more peak hours. So you're getting a really good data connection on your HD2. So this is really just a phone that is versatile, and uh, with the developers showing a lot of love for this phone, it's getting some great ports, great builds that are really making it a fantastic phone to keep by your side. And honestly, I've been comparing it to Evo's left and right here with my friends, and it's just... With this build, it honestly leaves them in the dust, so I'm just so happy about that. Um, just happy to have a, a fully functional phone. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post those in the comments. Look to the descriptions for those threads and links that I talked about earlier. Now, if you go to the market, you'll also find the uh, voice search, which you'll need to add to this ROM because he did keep it pretty bare to keep it so fast. So you'll need to go and find the voice search and probably even the Google search to go ahead and keep this, um, you know, I like to go ahead and be able to send a text or call a restaurant from voice, so I would recommend adding that as well. Um, you know, as you notice, the uh, flip clock and the animations are working with the weather and everything. Um, just really, uh, honestly, a, a fantastic build. So, like I said, enjoy this on your HD2 and uh, show the developer some love. Go ahead and hit thanks on the uh, thread if you like this. All right, take care.